What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So guys, today we are doing a beginner's guide for Grand RP. This is a GTA Online roleplay server that I have been playing lately. I think it's really fun. It has a lot of stuff to do. So I thought it would be a good idea to make a beginner's guide so you guys can also try it out and see what kind of roleplay server this is. So first of all, if you want to play it, you will have to make an account. You will have to register. And you can do this by using the link in the description. This is my referral link, so please use this. Select the English 3 server. This is the server that we will be playing on today. Everything is completely free. So the registration, the download, everything is free. After you download, just start the launcher and make sure to select server 3. So the server that you made an account for, make sure to select it over here. The only thing that you need is a copy of GT Online, but for the rest, you don't have to pay anything. So when you start, you can customize your character. This is just a character that I made for this video, so I will just randomize everything. But of course, you can do it however you want. After you do this, you will spawn in a hotel room. When you get in the hotel room, you can go ahead and get out. And then the first thing that you have to do is just get down to the lobby. So go to the elevator, select lobby, and then simply select next. When you're down at the lobby, go to the front desk and then talk to the lady that's over there. So every time you want to interact with someone, you have to press E for this. So every time you approach someone, you will see that there is an option to press E. Now when you do this over here, normally the first time you do it, you will have an option to start the storyline or start the story quest. For some reason, for me, it says resume the storyline, even though this is a new account. But just choose an option like this. After this, you can go ahead and press M to open the menu and then go to this option over here, which is called Quests. And this is actually something that was added with the latest update. Over here, you can see a summary of the beginner storyline and you can basically press Plan a route for the first task, which is getting a job as an electrician. Now, when you get out of the hotel, you're actually pretty far from the location that you have to go to. So in order to get there faster, you can talk to this lady over here and then select the option to rent a scooter. So this you can then use to get anywhere that you want. Just be careful. If you are off the scooter for more than five minutes, it will basically disappear. Also keep in mind when starting a vehicle, you also have to press control. So in regular GTA, we don't have this, but every time that you get in a vehicle, press control to start the engine. So the location that you have to go to is pretty much over here. This is a electrical substation. And over here, you'll be getting your first job. So when you are here, just enter. And then you will see that there is a yellow circle in front of this small container building over here. So go ahead and press get employed. And now you have a job as an electrician. It's temporary, of course. So if you leave, you don't have this job anymore. But you have to go to the yellow dot on the map and then repair the switchboards. So this job is very simple. You just have to connect the wires in the right way. If the connection is correct, you will see that the screen will turn green. If it's wrong, then it will turn red. And then you have to adjust the connection. For each switchboard that you repair, you will get $30. And also the more that you repair, the higher that your skill level as an electrician will be. And if you reach level 3, you can actually start hiring other people to work for you as well. Now continue doing this until you get the message that you received a package on your screen. After this, you basically go again to the menu by pressing M and then go to quests. And then you can see that the next task is going to the post office to basically pick up a package. So again, you can press plan a route and this will put a waypoint on the map. You? Before you leave, go back to the yellow circle, press leave, and then you will receive your payment for the work that you have done. When you're back outside, if your scooter is gone because you were doing the job for too long, Let's don't worry, you can just talk to this lady over here and then you can rent a moped or a scooter again. So don't worry about it. So the next destination, like I said, is the post office. Just to show you guys, it's over here on the map. So it's the yellow crate, the same symbol that they use in GTA Line, for example, for a business battle. When you are there, just go inside and then you can see it's the same interior as a special cargo warehouse. In the back, there is a guy. Go ahead and talk to him by pressing E and simply choose the option that you want to collect Yo, a package. Man, now, this package, it's actually just $500 because this $500, you're going to use it for the next task, which is getting a driver's license. So for this, you will have to go to the licensing center. And if you want to go there, if you want to place a waypoint, open your phone, go to navigation. You can open your phone, by the way, by pressing K. 
go to important places and any second one normally is licensing center go ahead and press the little gps icon and then you will have a waypoint on your map you can also just do it by pressing m and going to quest but i just wanted to show you guys another way to mark places on the map so again when you get there talk to the guy by pressing e and then the first option should be i want to get a driver's license and this will cost you 500 dollars which you got from the post office so press control to start the engine and then before you start it's very important that you place a speed limit on the car or else you will probably fail the exam so for this press g and then over here you can see an option which is speed limit click it a couple of times every time you click it the speed limit will change i would say just put it on 90 kilometers per hour just to be safe because if you put it on 100 a lot of people just told me this is that you will sometimes go over it and then it can ruin the exam so go through the checkpoints i have to say these checkpoints are pretty strict so if you're used to the ones of gta online racing you actually have to go through the blue checkpoint over here so if you miss it you will probably have to go back also make sure that you don't hit too much stuff because if you make three errors during the exam then you failed now after you finish you will get your driver's license again if your scooter has disappeared you can talk to the guy over here and you can rent a scooter again next up you have to go to the oil station and collect five barrels of gasoline so the oil stations are over here on the map you just go there and when you get there make sure to go to either a yellow one or a green one because the red ones are full and you cannot collect gasoline from them so the way it works, you see that you have these drills or these sticks, basically. Go on them with your mouse, hold left button, and then you can see that they fill up. You have to do this for all four of them. And every time you do this for all four of them, you will get one barrel. So in total, you have to do this five times. Next up, you have to sell the resources. So the gasoline that you just collected, hey. go to the next place, talk to this guy over here, say that you want to look at the prices. And then in the price list, you just search for gasoline. Then you click on it, click on next. And then you can decide how much pieces or how much barrels that you want to sell. So over here, I put six because I collected six instead of five. And then you sold the gasoline. This is, by the way, something that you have with other jobs as well. For example, with mining or fishing, you always go fishing or mining. And then you have to sell the things that you collected to a random guy like this. Last task that you have in the beginner storyline is just go to any parking lot. It doesn't matter which one. A parking lot is marked on the map with a blue P. Go to an empty space. Press E. Select the car that you want to put there. This car, by the way, you got it after you got your driver's license for free. Put the car there for just one day, for example. And that's pretty much it. So the beginner quest is completely done now. If you go to quest, you can see that you can't see it anymore. But you can see that you see for example general activities family activities and over here there is again a bunch of stuff that you can do so after you're finished with the beginner quest i would recommend that you start the general activities and basically discover what kind of things that you have in the server because there is really a lot if you go to the menu again so press m then go to the shop and then go to containers on the left there is a option others the others and then the first option in the others will be the beginner's case. This is basically what you have unlocked by doing the beginner storyline. You can open this container or this case six times. And every time you will get one of the items from the list that you see next to the container before you open it. So over here I got a fishing rod. This is actually very useful because now I can do the fisher job without getting the rod. So now that we're done with the beginner storyline, I just want to show you guys how you can get other jobs. So if you go to the menu, if you go to my job, then over here you can basically see a list of all kinds of jobs that you can see. And you can also see with some of them that it says salary and then for example low, average or high. Each hour these salaries change. So for example right now a fisherman is an average salary. So then I can go ahead and place a waypoint to a pond or a lake where I can go ahead and fish. And then I can collect fish and then again sell it to a random person just like we sold the gasoline. For every job, by the way, there is also a job description. So you get a better idea of what kind of things that you can do if you get this job. Besides jobs, by the way, in the server you can also do illegal stuff like stealing cars or being a gang member. 
but today we're just covering the basics if you guys want to see a more detailed guide about certain stuff in the server by the way just let me know in the comments and make sure to also like this video if you want to see more of grand rp so just to show you guys an example let's just say you want to be a fisherman if you want to be a fisherman if you don't have a rod yet you will have to go to the store and stores are basically marked on the map with a red dollar sign if you know the stores from gta online as well it's the same locations but i don't think store? that everyone knows these store locations by heart so when you're at the store press e to interact with the guy over there choose show products and then you can basically see a list of products that you can buy so you have the fishing rods that you can use for fishing you also have pickaxes which you also get from the beginner's case but if you didn't get it you can buy it over here and then one thing that's very important as well is a backpack so that you can basically store more items in your inventory so for two and a half k go ahead and get it it might say that your inventory is full so then just press i press for example the beginner map go back to the store guide the clerk Hi. buy the backpack go back to the inventory then and then equip it so for the inventory again press i go to backpack use it and now you have a backpack on and you also have more storage another thing that you can probably also get you won't need it immediately i think but you can get it already is a sim card so when you get this you have to put a seven digit number and this has to be a number that no one else in the server is already using so for example one two three four five six seven is already taken probably so maybe try to think of something else and also something that's maybe easy to remember so if you then have a fishing rod or for example a pickaxe you can start doing the job and then you can just sell the resources that you have collected and this way you can earn money as well so a lot of stuff in this server that you can do and it's definitely not possible to explain everything in this video but this was just a beginner's guide so you guys kind of know what to do when you start playing now in grand rp there is also something called families so that you can do events and all kinds of cool stuff together with your friends my family in the english server tree is called baus so if you want to join it go ahead we can play together when i'm online and definitely make sure to check it out guys so guys that was it make sure to like subscribe check out the discord in the description and peace out you guys